Don't you understand? I think I'm dead, but I'm not dead. Well, that's fine. Just think what a nice surprise they'll have when you get out. I haven't time to spend six years. But you were sentenced. I know that, but I still haven't time. Well, you'll have to find the time. Look, they don't sentence picture directors to a place like this for a little disagreement with a yard bull. Don't they? No. Oh. Well, maybe you ain't a picture director. Huh? Maybe that idea just come to you when you got hit on the head. Maybe. Now, look. Uh, we used to have a fellow here once that thought he was Lindbergh. He used to fly away every night. But he was always back in the morning. Well, don't I look like a picture director? Of course, I've never seen one. To me, you look kind of more like a, a soda jerk. Or maybe a plaster, or maybe. But... If ever a plot needed a twist, this one does. Huh? I gotta get my picture in the paper. Oh, that would be swell. Then you could paste it over your bunk. What kind uh, of people get their pictures in the paper? Ball players? Girls? They take them with their legs crossed. I cut one out once. She had her, she was sitting, no? Well, when you die, if you was important enough? I've had that. Murderers? <laughs> There was a swell picture of a friend of mine. He was a lodge brother. They called him the blowtorch killer. That's it. That's it. You tell the mister I'm ready to make a full confession. Now, wait a minute. Come on. Now, take it easy. There isn't a moment to lose. Now, now look. I'm, I'm, my conscience has got me. You're going to get yourself I want to confess to the murder of John L. Sullivan. You're going to get yourself I killed trouble. John L. Sullivan. Wait a minute, buddy. You're going to get I yourself I murdered trouble. John L. Sullivan. I'm telling you, you're doing the wrong thing. I'm a murderer! Will you listen to me before somebody... I killed John L. Sullivan! 